Welcome back everyone to this video. Here we are going to talk about multiplication of vectors and in particular dot product of vectors also called scalar product. In maths there are two kinds of vector product that are used. We have the scalar or dot product okay and the vector product or the cross product. So dot product or scalar product and cross product or vector product. A scalar product results in a scalar. A vector product results in a vector. So in this video, we'll talk about dot product. Just stay tuned and keep following. We're also going to talk about a vector product later. So subscribe and turn on notifications to get updated whenever the videos come up in the future. Okay, so let's talk about dot product. For two vectors A and B, for two vectors A and B, the dot product or the scalar product of the vector A and B, written as A dot B, this is it, A dot B, is equal to the modulus of A times the modulus of B, times the cosine of the angle between the vectors. We are taking theta as the what? The angle between the vectors. So the dot product of two vectors A and B is this. Modulus of A times the modulus of B times the cosine of the angle between the vectors. Take for example, I have two vectors. Let's say A is equal to this is the principle already a i plus b j plus c k this is capital a all right and this small a and i have another vector b which is let's say x i plus y j plus z k what is the dot product of these two vectors the dot product of these two vectors a dot b is this a times x ax plus b times y that's by plus what c times z c z this is how to obtain dot product you get it now so we can determine the angle between two vectors right and we can also determine the dot product of the two vectors as well the question before us says find the dot product of the vectors and we are to determine the angle between the vectors okay let's go ahead the formula i see here for dot product of two vectors let's call this vector a right let's say a is equal to 3i plus 2j plus k and let's say b is this 2i plus j plus 2k. So the dot product of a and b, a dot b is this 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1. The coefficient of j here is 1, all right? 2 times 1 plus the coefficient of k here is 1 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 times 2 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so 10. This is the dot product, or the scalar product of these what, two vectors. Now, to determine the angle between the vectors, this is it, theta. We need the dot product of the two vectors and the modulus of each of the vector in consideration. So, let us determine the modulus of A and the modulus of what B. That's the absolute value or the length of the vectors. Remember the formula for modulus of the vector. Okay? I have a video for that already. You can actually go and watch it. So, the absolute value of A, the modulus of A, the length of A, is the square root, the positive square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. The coefficient of k there is 1. 
one squared. This is nine, this is four, this is one. Nine plus four plus one, right? Yes. And so this will give us what? 14. Root 14. This is the what? The modulus of the vector A. What is the modulus of the vector B? In similar fashion, 2 squared plus 1 squared. The coefficient of J here is 1. And what? 2 squared. This is 4. This is 1. This is 4. So we have 4 plus 1 plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. The square root of what? 9. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. So this is the modulus of vector B and this is the modulus of what? Vector A. To obtain the angle between the two vectors, which is theta, we are going to make it theta the subject of the formula. To do that, we are going to divide both sides by this. The absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. Alright? The absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. So this we cancel out so that A dot B upon the modulus of A into the modulus of B equal to what cos theta. The dot product of A and B, that's A dot B, is 10. The modulus of A is root 14. And the modulus of B is 3 times 3 equal to what cos theta. So, to make theta the subject of the formula, we are going to take the cosine inverse of both sides. So that the cosine inverse of this 10 upon root 14 times 3 is equal to theta. And if we take the cosine inverse of this to two decimal places, it is equal to 27.02 degrees. So two decimal places. So this is the angle between these two vectors. There is a problem for you to solve. Calculate the dot product of these vectors. P equal to this and Q equal to this. These vectors are in bracket form. The form we used here is the component form. Okay? So, it is easy. For example, P now is in component form. It is 1i, which is i, plus 2j, plus what? 3k. That's it. And Q is what? This is 4i. And it's 5j plus 6k. So, determine the dot product of these vectors and drop the answer in the comment section and I'm going to review it. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel, like this video and share it with your friends and your classmates. I will see you in the next one.